Recognize that music? Of course you do. It makes the hairs on your arms stand on end. This Sunday, April the 23rd, is St George's Day. But to many thousands of runners, it's more important than that. It's the day of the Virgin London Marathon. I've been putting together a roll of honour of Folkestone athletes who will be pounding the streets of our capital city, trying their best over the 26 miles, 385 yards, that is the marathon distance. Some are experienced athletes, some are first timers, but the distance is the same for everybody. So let's start with the Folkestone Running Club who are good for age. This means they've already proved themselves over the distance in their age group in the times laid down by the organisers. So in no particular order, good luck goes to Chris Walgar. Last year was his first London in 3 hours 36. So this year he hopes to go under 3 hours 30. Andy Noble, his fourth London. Last year he ran 3 hours and 4 minutes. He's hoping to go sub 3. Phil Hoyland and Andy Fletcher last year both run sub 3. Can they beat it? Catherine O'Connor is running her fourth London, that's now three in a row, but her first one was ten years ago. Can she beat her PB of three hours forty minutes? Tim Warren has been training hard, running well. Can he break his PB of three hours eleven minutes? Dave Weeks has now run nine Londons in a sub three hour time. This is his tenth. Can he make it ten in a row? Tony Scott gained a club place. He's been training well. Running PBs all season, but he's never run a marathon. Will he hit the wall? The other club place went to Angie Saunders. It's her second London, her sixth marathon, and she hopes to be home in 4 hours 15 minutes. Pete Ryder has run sub 3 hours before, and this year is raising money for the Kent Association for the Blind, as is Ray Johnson. This is Ray's 17th consecutive marathon, and he's raised thousands of pounds for his chosen charity. Darren Crew gained his place through his firm's ballot and could possibly run 3 hours 30. Sisters Haley and Laura Ballard will be running together all the way round. They are raising money for Crohn's and Colitis UK and are really excited as it's their first marathon. Probably fastest male and female for Folkestone are Debbie Jeffrey and Lloyd Worsley. Debbie has a championship place which, which means she is just behind the elite ladies. And Lloyd will be pushing to run faster than his Paris marathon time, hoping to beat 2 hours 45. For South Kent Harriers, we should be looking out for the two Helens, Helen Bennett and Helen Lennon. They've been training hard under the watchful eye of Pete Russell, both running London for the first time, and they hope to be back around 4 hours 15 minutes. Margaret Connolly has run four previous marathons, but this is her first London. She's been coached by Jim McNeil, who's also running. Jim says this is his last marathon and he wants to make it a special one, as he's helping to raise money for a life-saving operation for one of his former pupils, Kelly Turner. For the Hawkins Hurricanes, it's good luck to Dave Burton, who's running for Calm Zone, a mental health charity, and he will be joined by the worshipful town mayor of Folkestone, Martin Salmon, who's also raising money for the Kent Association for the Blind. Not attached to a club, but on her second London is Dawn Waddell. She's raised over £1,200 for the Burmos Children's Fund, £400 of which came from a recent quiz night. Stevie Elkins has run London before in 3 hours 25, but was seriously hurt in a road traffic accident which caused horrific injuries to his legs. However, he's made a remarkable recovery and told me he wants to run sub 3 hours 30. And finally, Victoria Carney. Vic sadly lost her sister to a bile duct cancer known as cholangiocarcinoma. Vic's sister Sarah was only 39 when she passed away, so Vic decided to take part in 39 events, number 39 being the London on Sunday. It's been a long challenging journey. She's done 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, bike rides, but she's raised over £4,700 for the AMMF charity and over £1,500 for the Martha Trust, who helped her gain a place. So good luck, Vic. Sarah, your family, especially your mum in Australia, can be very proud of you. I'm sorry if I've left anybody out, but the training is over. It's time to look forward to the day. Do your best and have no regrets. This is Kevin Daly, the Sports Ferret of Folkestone, 
who will be spectating on the day, looking out for each and every one of you and wishing you all the best, cheering you on to that finishing line.